Hey dolls, welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Michonne and if you're not, hey doll, hey. In today's video, I am sharing some farmhouse winter DIYs. I really hope you enjoy it, so let's jump right in. For this sign, I'm taking two of these long signs from Dollar Tree, obviously from Christmas. And then I'm taking a large round wreath form. It came in a pack of three from Walmart. It's the largest one in the pack. And what I'm doing is going to trace the circle on this. So I am only using two of these signs for this, but I needed to trace and cut down one of the signs first. So that's basically what I did is I traced it with a pencil. Um, until I could see the lines you could barely see it on camera but I promise it's there and then I'm just using my box cutter and cutting um, this board now um, you can use a stronger knife or a sharper knife um, if you want this is what I had on hand that I felt would get the job done and it did and when I was able to get the shape that I um, got for each sign then I just cut down a little bit more with my scissors I used a duller pair of scissors that I do have and then I just kept cutting and uh, around and around on each sign now for the third and bottom part of the sign uh, I didn't use a third sign. So basically, I just used the leftover piece from, I think this was the top piece. And then I'm just going to take that wreath form again and trace that out to get the shape for the bottom part of my sign. Cut that out. And this is how they all look. Now I'm going to glue those together using my new Sherbonder hot glue gun. I love this glue gun, you guys. Oh my goodness. I will talk more about this in another video, but yes, I'm so so excited that Sherbunder sent me a nice little package. Anyways, hot glued that together with some craft sticks from a Dollar Tree as well, and then I'm sanding down the edges of this circular sign now. It's a really big sign, actually. It's gorgeous, and I love the shape and the size of it. So after I sand it down the edges, I also sand it down completely like the sign just to get a little bit more of a rougher tone to it next i'm going to take my waverly chalk paint in crystal it's like a blue color i think it's perfect for winter and i painted that i gave that two coats of paint then i took this um stencil well it's more it's, it's actually a silk screen stencil from hobby lobby i didn't realize it was silk, silk screen i just like the the uh, image so i bought it and then i realized that it was silk screen but then i realized i had a sample um set of um, items in paint and a squeegee that goes with the silk screen um, like stencil um, I was sent it from someone on Instagram Magnolia Craft Happy is her IG name and she sells these things and she sent me a sample package and I absolutely love that and I remembered I had it so I used it for this and it dries really well and it's really clean and you just peel the silk screen off wash that off and the image is beautiful the next thing I used were some rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree and I just cut out the letters that I needed that are going to spell warm winter wishes and I think that's so cute. I love all of the winter phrases that you could use for it and the rub-on transfers are pretty easy. Just rub them on with uh, your fingernail or like a card or something like that super easy then you just peel off the film on top after that I made a bow I'm not a pro at making bows so me showing them to you would be a longer video <laughs> but I just made a like a three thing bow and I hot glued that to the top side of it and then added some boxwood greenery underneath that I absolutely love boxwood and this one is glittery so it kind of falls on the sign and just it makes me so happy. <laughs> I really love how this is turning out, but it was definitely missing something for me. So I decided to take some painter's tape and make some lines on my sign. Um, and I love doing this. I think it makes a piece look so clean and so elegant. And so I'm just using my Waverly chalk paint in white and painting those lines. After it dries, lifting that up, being so satisfied with that crisp line. And then I do two more. I do one more on the bottom, just above the one I did first. And then I do one at the top. 
and I absolutely love how this came out. It's so pretty, and I don't normally decorate for winter, but this is giving me all the feels to want to be able to decorate my foyer. Swallows will be here by dawn. When we're finally sober, they'll be gone. The trees will bloom and the nights will melt. We'll always remember how it Next, I have a really simple DIY using this jar from Dollar Tree along with some faux snow that I believe I got from Dollar Tree as well. I could have got it from Dollar General, but it was definitely a dollar. Some leftover pine cones and some pine picks that I had on hand. Um, then I'm also going to use some jute cord. So the first thing I did is pour that faux snow um, inside of my jar, arrange some of my picks. I put a candle in there and then I am going to put some pine cones in there, move around it some more, put some more greenery in there until I'm satisfied with the look of it. Wrap the twine, uh, wrap the jute cord around the bottle neck of my vase and then hot glue that down hot glue some greenery on the front and a pine cone and just move everything around until i'm satisfied with the look of it and then i just wanted a little bit more make it look a little bit more wintry i used some hot glue and am sprinkling that faux snow on to the rim of this jar and on the pine cone and i think it's just so pretty i really really like how simple and easy this is and it goes really well with your table decor. For my next DIY, I am taking this picture frame from Dollar Tree. It has the twine and the uh, clothespin clips on it um, and I'm going to remove everything from it. So take the backing out, remove the twine from it. And I use my scissors to very carefully, you know, cut it so I don't mess up the Dollar Tree frame because it is from Dollar Tree. <laughs> and then I went ahead and painted the frame white using my Waverly chalk paint. I painted all sides and the inside of it and I gave it two coats. Then I also used my Timeless Gray acrylic paint color and painted the insert of this sign. Well, now it's going to be a sign. Um, so I painted the insert of the picture frame. So this is what they both look like once they are dry after a couple of coats. And to put this back inside of the frame, I'm going to hot glue it down on the creases and then hot glue it to the back. But then I'm still going to push down the little uh, plastic pieces that keep the, 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 the backing in a frame. Uh, then I'm going to take my rub on transfers once again and spell out warm, cozy home. And I wanted to use a plus sign. So I have these other Dollar Tree stickers and I'm going to use the top of the exclamation mark <laughs> to make my plus sign because I didn't have a plus sign and I didn't want to use, I could have used the black marker, but I just wanted kind of the same cohesive look of um, the rub on transfer. So I just adhered the rub on transfers the same as in the first DIY. And yeah, I didn't have the one the letters that have the lines underneath. I didn't have the larger letters, so I had to improvise, but I still like the way it came out. Then I took my leftover pine picks, pine picks, my pine pieces and hot glued them into like a half like snowflake. And then I took the twine um, and reattached that to the top part of this sign and then put back my clothespin. What I really love about this one is that you don't have to keep the clothespins on there. And then I added a pine cone to the center of the greenery to give it a little bit more character, but I absolutely love this. The trees will bloom and I For 
for my next DIY and easiest besides the jar is I'm going to take this snow word sign from Dollar General and I'm just going to paint it simple as that. I'm using some Waverly chalk paint in white and also some acrylic paint and this is summer sky. So all I did was paint it the SNW in white and I painted the snowflake in that blue and I gave this sign about three coats of each color because the wood really kind of soaked up the paint uh, except for the white but yeah um I really love how this turned out that is it for this one super easy super cute and goes really well against some uh like a tear tray or even against like a vase or something I think it's just super super cute and a nice addition to the rest of your table decor Alright dolls, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and you love what you see, please go ahead and consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you're notified every time that I upload. Alright dolls, I will see you on the next one. Bye!